January 15, Elohim, my creator. Then Elohim said, let us make humans in our image, in our likeness. Let them rule the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the domestic animals all over the earth, and all the animals that crawl on the earth. Genesis 1.26. The name Elohim refers to absolute, unqualified, unlimited power. Elohim is alone, the eternal, the almighty, the creator, and the source of all life and being. Elohim occurs in the Old Testament 2,550 times. The first mention of this name is in Genesis. In the beginning, Elohim created heaven and earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep water. The Ruach Elohim was hovering over the water. Then Elohim said, let there be light. So there was light. Genesis 1, 1 to 3. The name Elohim is the first name for God given in the Old Testament. It is the plural of El and occurs only in Hebrew and in no other ancient Semitic language. This plural form for Elohim does not mean gods. When referring to the true God of Israel, but refers to the plurality of persons in the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Elohim said, let us make humans in our image, in our likeness. Genesis 1.26 the New Testament clearly reveals that the Son of God, the eternal Word, was with the Father at creation, and it was by Him that all things were made. John 1, 1 to 3. Elohim, the Almighty Creator and Source of Life and Being, the self-existent One without beginning or ending, is your Elohim. He is unlimited in power. The same Elohim who spoke the worlds into existence desires to live in intimate relationship with you. He created man to love and worship him. He wants you to know him as your creator. Make this declaration of faith. Elohim, the almighty creator and source of all life is my Elohim. He is unlimited in power and might. I remove every limitation I have placed upon him or what he will do for me. He is my Elohim, and I will worship and exalt his name forever. <laughs>